Hey everybody, welcome to this half hour block of viral video film school special or H H B O V V F S S I think yeah that's it uh, I'm Brett Ehrlich from uh, Viral Video Film School on Infomania, which airs here on Current TV. And my job is to sift through the massive canon of online videos and teach you filmmaking lessons, as well as hopefully life lessons. Today we're focusing on playing pretend. Playing pretend, for example, saying, this is not an amazing picture. Who could say that? That's absolute pretend. Our first lesson specifically is about fan films, and our case study is in Indiana Jones, or in Spanish, Indiana Jones. I'm so happy right now. This is the one week in this decade where an indie film isn't a darkly comic tale about how it's hard growing up in a family. It's Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Sounds like it takes place on a belt buckle at a Ramones concert. Anyway, let's get to Indiana Jones web videos as there are tons of them. <laughs> compiled a list of requisite items given what I've seen. One, the hat. You gotta have the hat. And that's it. You really don't need anything else. You've got free reign for this fantasy you're probably a little too old to be living out. I mean, I thought you had to have the actual soundtrack, but this video shows your friends can take care of that. <laughs> You've got six hours of indie movies to draw from, but everyone just does the first movie's first scene. The variation, of course, being what you swap out for something else. My favorite, replacing the sacred empty Gatorade bottle with another sacred empty Gatorade bottle. You've displeased Lord Electrolyte. What else do people do? This guy was creative. In his mind, Indiana Jones loves the versatile practicality of Old Navy cargo shorts. No doubt foreshadowing Indy Indiana Jones and the nine dollar performance fleece. I hate fleeces, Jacques. I hate them. Something else I noticed. How come everyone has a very real looking gun? Look, gun, 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 gun. You couldn't find a bag to put dirt in, but you have a Beretta lying around? I was shocked by what people do and don't have in the way of props. Hey, Jimmy, do you have a spear? Basically just like a stick with a rock at the end of it. Do we have that? No, just improvise. Use a badminton racket and a spoon. Hey, could you hand me that really authentic Nazi general uniform that I have just on my desk? Honestly, if your friend has one of these and one of these, don't be in his face. Film, man. He's a trap indie. Indie's a trap. He's a trap indie. Also, Indiana Jones is our franchise. It's America's. The Brits have Bond. We have Indiana Jones. And the Americana shines through in the gratuitous, unexplained violence. By the way, the best death scene goes to this kid. <coughs> Nailed it. And something that struck me was the sheer volume of Indiana Jones Lego stop motion animation. Indie Lego Mation. It's gotta take forever. How do you stay motivated for that long? This is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be really cool. Shit. Legos! Join us on the next viral video of film school. Lego and I made up. We're pals now. He still feels the need to wear a helmet around me though, which implies mistrust. Probably because I do things like this. He'll get over it. All right, moving on from pretending to be our favorite movie stars to something other people do. Pretending to be their favorite rock stars. A lot of people play guitar in real life to get underwear thrown at them on stage. YouTube provides a stage where people play guitar to get underwear emailed to them, I presume. Here's my lesson. I was shocked at how many videos there are out there on YouTube of people playing guitar. How do you make yours stand out? Here's an idea, be good at it. I know that's a 
tough one because requiring talent pretty much disqualifies 90% of the YouTube community. Unless, of course, you call stuff like this talent. But with guitar, you actually have to be able to play well. Some people are not good. You're telling me you played that and then you said to yourself, this is ready, send it out there. Think, people. Also, this is not an out sexy competition. People just wanna see good guitaring. The skinny kid in the hat. The fat man with the neck beard. No one's like, I gotta get me some of that. Yet still, this is the fifth most viewed YouTube video of all time. That's an important distinction. A sick YouTube video won't get you laid. So why are there so many people out there playing guitar with their shirts off? Whoever thought of this should be shot. It's like the disease in 28 Days Later. It's very scary, it's spreading rapidly, and it just doesn't merit a sequel. Look at these people. Kia Bay. It's got the Bo Diddley B. What are you doing? What do you think happens when people watch these videos? You think women are watching these at home and they're gonna throw themselves through the screen at your kind of flabby, swollen, nippled physique? Janet, it's me, Lacey. I'm forwarding you a video. Send it to April. This guy totally plays three power chords. Let's trace his IP address and triple team him. YouTube party. That doesn't happen. The only thing worse than playing guitar with your shirt off is playing bass with your shirt off. I'm just gonna go ahead and play it from the first chorus. Only one bassist can pull off the no shirt playing bass thing. And he not only takes off his shirt, but he takes off his pants and lights his head on fire. So unless you're gonna commit, grab a hoodie. But still, no matter what you do, there is one person who has been successful in the shirt off guitar playing arena, and he's four. Go. You're too good for that guitar. You throw that guitar. <laughs> Gonna have to keep an eye on that kid. So the moral of the story, be really good, be really awesome, at least be really clothed, and everything will turn out a-okay. Join us next time on Viral Video Film School. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're going to test out your sea legs, because ready or not, we're going on a boat. And now, a viral video film school pop quiz. Question, where does this Sudanese rapper want to take you? Never lie, so you're from the sky? Something's got to give. Treat me. <laughs> I want to eat him up in little bites. And that was your viral video film school pop quiz. I don't care that you cheated. Welcome back everybody. I'm Brett Ehrlich from Viral Video Film School on Infomania, right here on Current TV. For this half hour, we're looking at some of my favorite segments from days gone by, some of my favorite lessons, and they're about playing pretend. Now, this one isn't about how you can play pretend. This one, I played pretend that on YouTube I was actually the I'm on a boat video, and uh, I was able to scare up about 500,000 views. Not bad, which teaches us it's always good to misrepresent yourself. So you've probably seen the Lonely Island video, I'm on a boat, featuring T-Pain, who from his singing sounds like he swallowed a robot. It's a great idea to set your video on a boat. They have tons of viral potential, and you don't need T-Pain. Just use actual pain. This guy literally couldn't hit water if he fell out of a boat. I guess eventually he hits water, but he definitely hits the boat a bunch on the way there. You don't even have to have a big fancy boat. As long as it's not a rock, it's a boat. This kid has a fence that's a boat. This person has a wooden pallet and a car seat. And it's a boat, I think. Yeah! Yeah! 
Yeah! If that's what you wanted to do, well, you did it. But normally, the greatness of a boat is being out in the open water. Some boats are just boy boats, where you hang out with the boys and catching some fish, and implying you'll have sex with those fish. <laughs> Well, I ain't getting laid tonight. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I am. <laughs> I'm gonna f this fish in the mouth. Or I even back the fish vagina. I don't know. I'm gonna be pretty drunk. Some of the fun of being on a boat is jumping out of the boat into the water. But if you're gonna do that, make sure there's a potty mouth mean guy around to make you rue your decision. This is f***ing classic. You better hope that mother. Is on. Look at you, you sexy motherfucker, you. And then relate to the viewer your profound dissertation on the day's events. Like, <laughs> whoa. I, I know what you mean. Generally, boats are for people on spring break. Just sit around, hang out, and talk about how totally roasted you are. I feel like I'm red as a motherfucker. I feel like I'm red as a motherfucker. You are. You do look about as roasted as your friend over there, and he's a total motherfucker. <laughs> Boats are excellent video fodder, right up until the end, when you have to say goodbye to your good time on the waterways and sell the SSPOS. Video tours of boats for sale are priceless. This guy wants you to know his boat has plenty of bunks. Here's a uh, bunk, bunk, bunk. Oh, he's not done. Bunk, bunk. Anymore? Cool. You might think it'd be wise to demonstrate the positive attributes of your boat, so people might, I don't know, Want to buy it? Not so. Hot water heater is supposed to go there. It was rusted pretty bad. This is an alcohol stove I never used. I think they're at fire hazard. Everything functions except this wheel. Someone said it was a steering wheel. Boat doesn't turn though. It's great. Just make sure you're not pointed at a continent. We installed an electric head. This is a nice feature. Man, when you flush the toilet, it sounds like the boat is taking a dump. So cast off me, hardies. Join us on the next viral video film school. I'm on a boat. That is a moat, but it does float. But I don't mean to gloat, but I'm on a boat. And now, a viral video film school pop quiz. Is that a llama on a surfboard? No, it's an alpaca, you insensitive prick. There's a difference. Not all cambolids are the same, oh, you. Granted, this one sucks at surfing. It's almost as though alpacas have spent millennia as land mammals. And that was your viral video film school pop quiz. And they said you weren't good at anything. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, we got babies with Bibles in this guy's weird boob formations. And now, a viral video film school pop quiz. What's the meanest thing this plane can do to this ship? Answer, landing strip tease. Later on, his aircraft carrier buddies ask, Dude, you land that fighter jet yet? Nah, she's sending me all these mixed signals. We get so close, and then she just harriers away. And that was your viral video film school pop quiz. Who said wasting time never got you anything? Welcome back, everybody. We're playing pretend on this half hour special of viral video film school. Where we're looking back at some of the, the best segments in years gone by. This next lesson is scary. I'll say there's a lot of weird body parts, um, and it's because certain people, uh, in an attempt to look better and avoid physical exercise, um, they do odd things to their bodies. That's all I'm going to say. With the Olympics and the Super Bowl just around the corner, you're about to come face to face with people who have a much better body than you. Forcing the person you have a crush on to say, How come your body doesn't look like that? I refuse sex with you. Well, have no fear. The internet will get you in shape immediately. And I'm not talking about workout videos. Those always end in tragedy. There it is. Nice. <laughs> Man, you're so buff, even your face is ripped. Open by that thing you fell on with your face. Great job. Why are you running in jeans in a cardigan? This does not end well for him. I'm shocked your completely unanchored exercise ball routine ended in peril. This one doesn't even hurt the person working out, but it kills his fish. 
You don't have six weeks to wait for results. So this one offers a fast acting, pound shredding probiotic diet. This is uh, probiotics. It's lactobacillus. Acidophilus. Yes, Hippopotamus stephanopoulos, which in layman's terms evacuates residual fecal matter impacted along the intestinal wall. How's it work? You poop everything. So we talked about getting rid of the extra five to 25 pounds of of poop. Babies weigh eight pounds. 25 pounds is a lot of poop. And here's a description of what's in that poop. Just so that you don't freak out, okay? Sometimes people will have Marbles, some people will have pennies. Here's what I pooped, a Mr. Potato Head mouth. <laughs> Another way to improve your appearance is by lying to people. That's why this girl's here, to show you how to paint abs on your abs. First thing is you're gonna have to either do this in your birthday suit or bathing suit. And I hope it's birthday suit, that's not birthday suit. Gotta blend it in. We don't want anything too fake. Right, just don't go in the water. Uh, Jacqueline, your abs are running? Here's the before and after. Six pack's not impressive. That's why I went with the 60 pack. Yeah, my abs have abs. These abs are playing tic-tac-toe. All right, I've saved the best immediate physical enhancement for last. Current.com user StoutGT sent me these. Videos of people who are apparently using Synthol, which makes you look like this. Holy f what is that? A man, his arm looks pregnant with an arm. Synthol's not a steroid, it is a mixture of oils you inject into your muscles to make you look like you're wearing one of those fake sumo suits. The upside of Synthol is targeted enhancement. So you can have a trunk-like bicep and a still quite feminine forearm. That's what chicks dig. This man is by far my favorite. At first I was like, there's no way that lady boob can be on YouTube. And it's, oh my God, that's on a man. And he has lady boobs all over his body, even on his neck. Oh, and now he's dancing. Some kind of lady boob man dance. I love how he signs off. Shh, no, I, I'm not going to tell anyone I watch this. We're good. Well, I hope this helped. Now, you know how to make all those Olympic athletes look like wuss bags. Now, excuse me, I gotta go paint my abs as I inject my muscles with oil. Join us on the next viral video, Film School. More wall things, Twitter. Adio. Don't go anywhere when we come back, baby preachers. And I am not kidding when I say they are babies. And now, a viral video film school pop quiz. Music question, what dance are all the kids doing? Answer. <laughs> Work the leg. Your treat is someone less good at that. <laughs> and that was your viral video film school pop quiz. Give yourself a gold star. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Brett Ehrlich, and this is a half hour viral video film school special on my favorite lessons from over the years uh, about playing pretend. And this next lesson um, is about little ones pretending to be like grown-ups. And it was inspired uh, by a Bible passage I once read in my extensive study from the book of Timmy uh, that says, out of the mouths of babes and sucklings come extremely uncomfortable sermons that, let's face it, their parents probably made them right. Baby preachers, enjoy. Religion, awesome. Problem, it's super old. You want someone who will put a young spin on things. The web is crawling with preachers who themselves have just recently stopped crawling. Please open your Bibles. So someone they need to get the Holy Ghost. Yeah, I can see your Jesus. But the guy's doing something wrong. today's lesson, I will help you choose a child preacher. Because when it comes to your eternal salvation, I want to make sure you're in the hands of the right person whose parents, I'm guessing, are pretty religious. Let's see who's barely visible over altar number one. It's Reverend Samuel Boutwell. What's your sermon about, kid whose whole life is ahead of them? This is what I'm going to preach on tonight. You don't know. My daddy should have ran forth. You might die tonight. Well, that is... That's a heavy one. That wouldn't be scary except in every movie I've seen when a kid tells you you're gonna die, he's always right. Enter the gospel bosom of Reverend Terry Durham. I may be going through a lot. I may lost all my money. I may lost everything I had. Everything you had, you're 12. Was that like $7 and some webkins? Maybe you think of Jesus as Jesus. I have just the muchacho. <laughs> Dios, 
actually, kid, God didn't make you in your mother's womb. There was a guy in your mom, and they kind of... She may have shouted, oh God, a bunch. Never mind. And now, a lesson in healing. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! To this kid, healing means jamming your fingers into your brother's eyeball. I think God said heal the blind, not make people blind. It's a subtle difference. Maybe a kid who can barely speak is not your cup of sacramental tea. Might I suggest a preacher who can't even talk at all? <laughs> Right. Yes, right. That's right. I'm not sure what is right, but this seemed familiar. The hitting of the hand. Still too old? Fine. I'll see if I have something in a toddler. I do. Yes. Wow. Just the microphone to body size ratio is biblical. Honestly, I could listen to him all night. Predominantly because they never stop him. I love how he just hands the mic over. Like, here you go, Rev. I got I got them all warmed up for you. There you go. There's the best preachers I could find. You should be in good hands. Good, tiny hands. I don't want to see you following other evil babies with their devil music. <laughs> Join us on the next viral video, Film School. Hallelujah. Mustaches and King love ya. All right, everybody. That's it. I hope you learned a crap ton of knowledge, right? Because that's what I wanted you to do. If you liked it, then catch more Infomania right here on Current TV. Check your local listings. Go to current.com slash Infomania for air times. Um, or subscribe on YouTube slash viral videos. See you later, friends. Oh, and now he's dancing. Some kind of lady boob man dance. Yeah, if that's what you wanted to do, you did it. Replacing the sacred empty Gatorade bottle with another sacred empty Gatorade bottle. He's a trap indeed. So the moral of the story, be really good, be really awesome, or at least be really clothed, and everything will turn out a-okay. Watch Infomania's half-hour show every Thursday night at 10 p.m. on Current TV.